In Paintless Dent Repair, you're asked to work on some of the nicest cars from back in the day. Because many times you are working for true car people. Sometimes you just have to do a wave like that. This quarter panel was hit before and it had a lot of filler on it. My job was cut out for me here because I literally had to tap down the crown and I couldn't push behind it, so no mistakes. I designed this tool many years ago because I wanted the power to work on these older cars and you need power. I call it the slapper tapper and it creates this amazing vibration when I strike it with another hammer. Carefully knocking down each wave, reading the reflection. I'm reading objects in the distance that truly line up with the shape of these waves, and that's how I can be so accurate. I started out using lights and boards as a reflection, but that's one angle, and when you pass it through objects, it can kind of distort exactly which way they're going. And that's why I teach reading the natural reflection. It's incredibly accurate, and it works great. Now this is my main way of knocking down high spots. It's very uh, reliable because I don't have to change to another tapper every time I'm doing a different part. It's also great for knowing where there is filler because in this situation I couldn't push behind it otherwise I would crack the filler. There is so much filler on this quarter, it cracked down low, as you could see. But the customer may have that repaired and spotted in, but up high, it would be too difficult to blend in and why I was asked to knock down this wave. Got it done. Basically just lowered that wave down. There's a lot of filler in there. 
so we, we decided not to do any pushing. So that just had to be all slapping. Lots of skills and techniques to learn in my course. Subscribe and learn how to be a professional paintless dent removal technician.